The Indian Navy is all set to place a massive order for more than 200 BrahMos extended range supersonic cruise missiles, and officials have said that exact contours of the deal is currently being fine-tuned, and the actual cost will depend on the number of order units and configurations, but it is likely to be over 15,000 crore rupees. The procurement proposal for the 450 km range BrahMos extended range missiles and associated equipment is at an advanced stage, and is expected to be cleared by the Defence Ministry very soon. The BrahMos extended range missiles would be equipped on frontline warships including the P-15B destroyers and P-17A stealth frigates, as well as mobile coastal missile batteries. Officials also added, that the 800 km range variant of BrahMos missile has undergone its maiden test, while a few more tests of the variant will be conducted this year. The Tejas Mark 1A technology demonstrator will soon be cleared to fire the ASRAM Next Generation Close Combat Missile, that will be first equipped on the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, later on older Tejas Mark 1 followed by Tejas Mark II and Ted BF fighter jets. The ASRAM Block 6 comes with new algorithms, that has been developed to improve its ability to acquire and maintain lock-on to the target aircraft, despite the use of next-generation infrared countermeasures by the target aircraft. The European firm MBDA and Bharat Dynamics have collaborated to establish an Indian facility for final assembly integration and testing of the ASRAM, that will start operations later this year. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said, that talks with Argentina are progressing positively, and a small contract is expected soon. He also added, that Argentina is interested in acquiring at least 15 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, and Argentine pilots have already tested the fighter jet in India. Hindustan Aeronautics is also working to ensure that the delivery of Tejas Mark 1A is made faster than the contract terms, in order to grab a follow-on order for 50 more Mark 1A fighters. The advanced self-protection jammer developed for the Tejas Mark 1A program is currently undergoing developmental trials, and the gallium nitride-infused pod will enter user trials in later half of 2023, and the plan is to start limited production by early 2024, so that the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets that starts delivery in February 2024 will come equipped with the advanced self-protection jammer pod. The Australian Air Force has announced its plans to procure 40 advanced jet trainers by 2027 to train pilots and weapons system operators, but Hindustan Aeronautics has dropped plans to develop Tejas lift variant and will develop HLFT-42 next generation supersonic trainer, and there is a chance that HAL will not have a working aircraft for demonstration purposes. HAL has made no final decision if the HLFT-42 could be offered as it will require at least four to five years to conduct its first flight. Indian Navy's guided missile frigate INS Sayad rejoined two Mistral-class amphibious assault ships of the French Navy, and carried out a two-day maritime partnership exercise in the Arabian Sea, that included cross-deck landings, boarding exercises and seamanship evolutions. The seamless conduct of the exercise reaffirmed the interoperability and high level of cooperation between the two navies.